Hello, I'm Tobin, and in this video, I want to share with you my 10 favorite modern razors under $50. Wasn't easy getting it down to just 10. I actually have more razors under $50 than I thought I had modern razors. I feel like I did a good job of thinning out the herd, if you will, and uh, getting a good representation of the re that's the types of razors that I really enjoy under that fifty dollar mark. And like I said, it, it it wasn't easy at all. I'm one thing I'm learning doing these videos is it's never really easy. <laughs> but that being said, let's get into this. And the first one I have here is an homage to a vintage razor that was originally patented in 1945. This modern razor is from Phoenix. Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. What we have here is the dual open comb. Orig the original dual open comb, I believe is what they call it. Put the picture of it right up here. What we have here is a brass handle that is nickel plated, a Zamac head that is nickel plated. And I know to those who maybe haven't seen it, it looks like it would be aggressive, but I assure you it is not aggressive. It is very mild and very efficient. The difference between this and the original, the original had an aluminum handle. Put a picture of it right here. It weighed 46 grams. The head was nickel plated as well. So that's kind of where we get the nickel plate coming in with this one. Douglas stayed true to the uh, plate on it. And because it is a nickel plate and not, a, not chrome, it just has a really cool aesthetic to it. Um, but not quite as shiny as chrome. I like the look of it. Something that's super cool. This one, like the prismatic, has the phoenix etched into the bottom. This here uh, currently retails for $34.95. Did I already say it's this one, the modern, is three inches long. I know that sounds short to some of you. I do prefer, prefer a shorter handle. Um, this one is extremely well balanced. The balance on it is perfect. And I think if the handle is longer, you wouldn't quite have that. But the good thing is too though, guys, is that you can change this out with any handle. You know, you could put a four inch handle on this. Um, so if you feel like it is too short, you could always switch it out with a longer handle that you have in your collection. So we have three inches overall length, which is 76 millimeters. And the weight of the modern is 56 grams. So it's 10 grams heavier than the original, and that's due in part to the original having the aluminum handle. If you've never used one, they're super cool. The idea behind it is that you have lather that's also left behind, and so you can go through and buff. This is, if you don't have a razor or if you don't already buff, and you've seen guys in videos are talking about buffing, this is a great one to practice and hone in your buffing skills. And you'll see some guys that, you know, buff with all kinds of razors. Matt Pasarsic always comes to mind when I talk about buffing. And this is a great buffing razor. I can do four or five passes with it with minimal or no irritation. And I'm telling you, I know these dual open combs. And I thought the same thing when it first came out like seven years ago, five years ago. It looks aggressive. And prior to Doug's, I hadn't seen one. And... It's not at all aggressive. I can't say it enough. This is a mild razor. It is a great beginner's razor. 35 bucks. You can't go wrong. Do open comb. Next in my top 10, and in no particular order, we have my first slant in this list. The first of three. This one I picked up from Finjahan. They still have it in stock. And it is the Fatip Lostorto. And Lostorto means like twisted or crooked or, or slanted. Um, the most common translation I found was twisted. This is a brass chrome plated head and handle. I believe that's the pretty much common theme with Fatips razors. These are made in Italy. 
it retails at $35.75. It's 85 millimeters long and weighs 68 grams. This is a mild razor. And I know once again, the slants can look intimidating to those who haven't tried them, but I assure you that most slants, this one included, is very mild. And that's part of the thinking behind a slant is that you can get an efficient cut without a big blade gap or an aggressive angle. So the Fatip Los Torto 3575 at Fingerhan. I'll put links for all these companies in the description. Um, that's about the cheapest I could find it. And at 3575, I think it's a steel, guys. This thing is it's not Zamac at all. It's 100% brass. That's my understanding from what I've read. And uh, chrome plated. So this thing is made to last. And at $35. Look at that. That grip. I love it. It's a beautiful, elegant razor down here with the finger. You got a good little grippy knurl. This could be a little bit more grippy, but really it's not bad. I've never had any problems feeling like this thing was going to slip or anything like that. And I just think it's a beautiful, elegant, efficient shaver. And then it's not aggressive at all. Not aggressive at all. Nope. Not at all. Moving on. Number three, 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 not 12, three. Number three, from McCurr. And I've said this before about McCurr in previous videos, and I'm going to say it again, even though it's not entirely true. McCurr is what I call a one-hit wonder, much like Edwin Jagger. They found a recipe that worked, works, and they've stuck with it, and they've just offered us different handles. It's pretty much the recipe for success. Almost a one-size-fits-all when it comes to the head, much like Gillette did for years. So for me, my number three in that offering of heads would be the Mercure 30C. This one here has a black resin handle. It's three and, three and the eighths of an inch. That makes it 79 millimeters or 78 millimeters. I like this one too. It has the Mercure head on the bottom. Come on, play nice. You can kind of see it there. Uh, most of them, you know, they're, they're hollow. So it's the same head that's on the 23C. If you like a long handle, you can get the 23C for roughly the same price. This is a just over four inch handle. The 34C or the 34HD is the one that a lot of people talk about most commonly is, is talked about most often you can see here they're roughly the exact same length I just really like the look and the aesthetics of this black resin handle and the feel in my hand it has this very distinct grippy feel to it that I just like it I prefer it over the 34 and definitely over the 23 same head on all three same head and these aren't the only ones either we have the barber pole handle, they have a whole bunch that all have the same exact head. So you have like this guy here, this the barber pole, and this one's like retails generally for like $55 or, or so. It's more, it's, it's heavier, but these are all the exact same head. And these aren't the only ones. Pretty much if it's a straight bar with a closed comb from Mercur, you can bet on it having the same head. Um, it's not always true there's a couple exceptions to the rule but from what i've seen when it comes to razors currently in production i don't think there's any exceptions to that rule with the razors that are currently in production as long as it has the straight bar and it has the close comb or the straight the yeah right close comb don't confuse yourself toby you confuse the audience, and that's not good. That's not good at all. Number four. Once again, 30C. I'm getting ahead of myself. $48.50. Also, for my friends at Fendrahan. That's actually where I picked this one up. And it's currently on sale. Here's the kicker. 
for 41.22. So we're at the beginning of September 2022, and right now it's on sale for 41 dollars and 22 22 cents. Hey, it's a bargain. Number four, sticking with the one hit wonder. I don't mean that as an insult either, guys. When when you find something that works, you stick with it, right? A lot of times with a lot of different things, that's exactly what we do. That's what I do, right? A time issue the same way that I have for like 40 years, right? There's so many different examples. Um, so I don't, I don't mean that in a negative way at all. I love Mercur. And this next company is a more modern company. And I love them too. Edwin Jagger. The DE-89. This head is on a whole bunch of different handles. I like this one. And now this one looks like it would be slippery. And really, it's not. The, the way that they have it made, I have no problems with this handle. Yeah, but it's slick. It's elegant. It's a mild to medium efficient shaver, just like the Mercurs. It's the same head that you'll find like on the Mulas. Edwin and uh, Mula work together on developing the 89s, so they're extremely similar, slight difference. But I love the way this thing shaves. I love the way it looks. I think it's, it's elegant, it's beautiful, it's badass. And uh, for $40 from our friends at Fingerhand, you can't go wrong. And no, uh, I don't receive anything from you buying these. I don't do affiliate codes, and that's just where I bought them from, and that's the cheapest place that I found this razor, just like with the 30C. That's basically what I'm going off of, is places that I've done business with, and you know some of the cheapest places that I could find from reputable businesses that I've done business with, because I don't want to recommend someone to you guys that I haven't done business with, because I don't think that's responsible. So I've done business with Finterhand several times, and they've always treated me well. Edwin Jagger, DE89, Finger Hand, $40. It weighs in at 63 grams, three and a quarter inches. That's 82 and a half millimeters. Next is the only adjustable, the only adjustable in this top 10. And it's the adjustable system, or what did you call it? Because it's not the true adjustable. I think you know where I'm going to be going with this. I'm going with the Rockwell 6C. Now, recently, Rockwell has raised the price of this razor on their website to $60. But there's still several different vendors art, vendors out there that you can get this from for under, under 50 One of them is Grown Man Shave. I've done business with them. And they currently have it for $44.96. From what I could see, that's only the white chrome. The wet shaving store has the white chrome for $48.99, or for $1 more, you can get the gunmetal, like mine here, or you can get the rose gold. I have the stainless steel. The stainless steel is twice the price. I do prefer probably the stainless steel in some ways. I prefer the look of the gunmetal. I think it's epic. Um, you know, if you're trying to spend less than fifty dollars, this is definitely the way to go. This is, you know, twice the price, and you're going to get the exact same shave. I have put these things head to head numerous times. Exact same blade in each one. You know, like a Gillette Platinum, Gillette Platinum, and time and time again, they deliver the exact same shave for me. And like, I'm not kidding. I probably. When it first came out, I bought this. Like I said in previous videos, when it, they first came out, I kind of thought it was gimmicky, and I was wrong. It's super intelligent, it's super cool, and it works. I love, this is one of my favorite modern razors, hand down, that's why I ended up buying this one. I bought this one, had it for about a year, absolutely loved it, and that whole time I was wanting to get the stainless, finally pulled the trigger on the stainless, and it's just the way my mind works ever since I got it. For the, probably the first three or four months, I did multiple head-to-heads. For me, for the longest time, I rolled with plate five. For the last year or so, I've only been using plate four. I found that plate four works best for me. 
For those that don't know, yeah, plates one through six, blah, blah, blah. I know most of the community knows, but for those who don't, this one here, you can change the plates and it'll change the blade gap and slightly changes the blade angle. Back to what I was saying, my daughter called. You can change the plates, it's adjustable. You can get it for $44.96 at Grown Man Shave, white chrome, or you can get it from the wet shaving store for $48.99 for the white chrome, or for $1 more, they have in stock the gunmetal and or the, the rose gold. And guys, it's a great razor for the ladies. It is a 3.8 inch overall length and weighs 97, 3.8 inches long, 97 millimeters and weighs 99 grams. Number six is also my second slant in the list. And it's also my second razor from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. And that is the filament. It is an homage to the original Fasan Ghost, except for it won't break the bank. This one retails for $26.95. And it, like the dual open comb row razor that I shared with you at the beginning of this video, you can find it at phoenixartisanaccoutrements.com as well as other vendors. And this one is way more mild than it looks, you guys. These are not aggressive razors. That's the whole idea behind a slant is that you can have an efficient shave without an aggressive gap or angle. There was also the monster series. The monster series are double slants. This is the El Phantasma. You can see compared here to this red one, how the twist is way more twisted. This one, the Monster Series, are more aggressive. They're a double slant. So you get a lot more tweaking, a lot more torque on the blade in the Monster Series. And there's still a bunch of these that he has available on the Phoenix website. Those are more aggressive. So if you want an aggressive slant razor, look at the Monster Razors. But if you're looking for a mild, entry-level priced, Slant razor, you can't go wrong with this guy. I've shaved with it so many times. Originally, they did the Bakelite series, and that's what the Fasan is made out of. These are no longer available. This is what started it all for Doug and Fran, is the Bakelites. That then led us into the Monster series, and now we're into the filament. The filament is made out of ABS. It's three and a quarter inches long and weighs 50, 52 millimeters, no, 14 grams, three and a quarter inches long, 14 grams, so extremely light. I've heard people say, oh, it's made out of cheap plastic. You know, it can't be durable. A lot of plastics today are more durable than glass, more durable than quite a few metals that are out there. Lego bricks. I don't know if you ever stepped on a Lego. Like us dads, you're all walking out in the hall in the middle of the night and you step on a Lego. Oh no! They don't break that easily. In fact, it's probably going to be your foot that breaks first. Lego bricks are made out of ABS. Car bumpers, modern cars, made out of ABS. Bicycle helmets, ABS. ABS can take quite a bit of a beating and it's not cheap plastic. It's durable, long lasting plastic. Um, you should be able to get 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years out of one of these razors if you take care of it. There's nothing cheap about it. I've heard that a few times from a few different people or I've read it, you know, oh, it's cheap plastic. Come on. No, it's not. It's not cheap plastic. Plastic's cheaper than a lot of metals, but that doesn't mean that it's not durable. From the lightest razor in my den to what's probably the heaviest razor in my den. This one was a gift from Clinton Conley. Um, Clinton is a good friend of mine who is no longer with us. And so this razor will always have a place in my den 
for sentimental reasons, but also it's one hell of a shaver. It's the SR71 from Holy Black. This thing weighs in at a gigantous 139 grams. 14 grams, 139 grams. It's a heavy, heavy razor. And the head on it is very similar to like what you find on the Mula. You see there's a lot of similarities. There we go. I love it. The balance on it is right about the middle. It looks badass. It is badass and it's one hell of a shaver. It is a short handle, just like it looks. It's three and a quarter inches. That's 82.5 millimeters. It retails for $47. You can buy it from Razor Emporium and you can also buy it directly from the Holy Black. My third and final slant is the workhorse of slants, and that's the 37C. Uh, my first ever slant was the 37C. My first vintage slant was the 37C, so this is a vintage. This is the modern. This is a medium aggressive slant razor. This one is more aggressive than the ones I was showing you. It's basically the exact same handle or is the exact same handle that's found on the 34C. If I can hold it, so you can see there, they're virtually identical. The difference is found in the head and the weights are very similar as well. I love this razor. It's, you know, probably historically the most popular of the slants. It's been around, you know, definitely the, the longest when it comes to these modern slants that we, we use today. Three and a quarter inches again, very common length, 82.5 millimeters, weighs 68 grams. And you know, something that's really nice about the 37C, um, just like with the Fatip, I don't shave my mustache, but the head is very, very slim. Moving right along into number nine. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It will be my third and final razor from Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. And that's the Prismatic. The Prismatic has the same handle as the DOC that I showed you a moment ago brass, nickel plated. This one's modeled after the Kirby. Um, and the Kirby was made in the 1930s and 1940s in England. Thanks to the Nazis who bombed England during World War II. They no longer exist. The factory was one of the casualties. And my understanding is that from that point on, they never resumed production. So model after the Kirby from the 1930s and 40s. With this one, we also have a Zamac head that is nickel plated. The head is scalloped and super thin, super thin. If you are looking for a thin head razor for under 50 bucks, that is also mild to medium efficient. This is a great one to go with guys. It is super, super thin. Let's put that one up against the Recur. Considerably thinner. I think I was holding that flat, but it is. It's it's very thin. Don't got anything else on that one. Three inches, 76 millimeters, 55 grams. So you have the zinc alloy head, nickel plated, brass handle, nickel plated, and then the knurling on both of these razors. Anti-slip grip. Perfect. All right. Last but not least, another razor that was a gift, a gift from my good friends, Angelo and Crystal. This one can be bought from a lot of different places. Um, they got it for me off of Amazon. I think that's probably your best bet when it comes to saving money. And like I said, I think in my last video, I don't like to recommend Amazon unless I have to. But in this case, 25 bucks. 
the King Seed Gillette. The head is made in Germany and it's virtually the exact same head that you find on the Mula 89 or the Edwin Jagger 89. Difference being, you get this long handle. The handle is 3.75 inches or 95 millimeters. It's a heavy one at 102 grams. This part of the handle is a little slick, but thankfully, like the way I hold it, I just get my finger under here and then I'm holding on to the knurling up here and it's not bad at all. It's not, it's not slick. It's not slippery. Extremely well balanced. They did do their homework on it. The only downside, it's not really a downside, but for some people, including myself, I try to avoid stuff that's made in China and some of these other things are made in China, but head, Germany, handle, China, the Gillette. King C. It's a great mild to medium efficient razor. I think I got them all once again. By George. I certainly did. I want to thank you for tuning in. I hope this helps some of you who are looking for an entry level razor or who are looking to add more to your collection. I don't think any of these are a bad choice. I think all of these are a great choice no matter where you're at in your collection. Whether you're a new wet shaver looking for your first razor, none of these are overly aggressive. They're all medium to mild, like I was saying when I was describing them. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think, what's your impressions of these razors if you own them. If you have a few of these, which one do you prefer? Have you tried any of these? Other than that, I want to thank you for stopping by, tuning in, hanging out, getting comfy. As always, slow down. Slow down, Toby. It's a little big things. Until next time, thanks for watching.